Hello, Stephen White or Trick Boy for Steve Arts 89. Uh, I finally saw the new Short Treks. Um, I had no interest in it initially, um, but I saw a couple of good reviews and I got interested and I went and found it because being in Australia, much like The Mandalorian, um, I actually don't have access to it, so, you know, but I still saw it. Um, and it was actually good. Um, it was actually good. I'm really kind of surprised. Um, it is a Star Trek story. It is um, short, sweet, simple. Basically, there is a cadet in a little section of her own on the ship um, on a starbase, Starbase 28, that's being attacked. Um, there's an explosion. She's knocked down. She gets up. Um, some people come in and they have a prisoner and they explain that the prisoner um, mutinied and they can't get to the brig because there's damage on deck four or something so they need her to hold him there and not let him out and um, they need her to basically um, take care of him for, the, for them. So she agrees. He's wearing a hood which is disturbingly hot. Um, <laughs> sorry, into weather. Um, and she asks why the mask? Um, and they explain that they have to hide his identity because he's a very important um, person and they don't want people to know that he mutinied. And they take it off and it is Captain Pike. So they leave her and him together. Um, the battle rages on, on um, the outside and he immediately tries to get her to um, open cons, comms and, um, and help him and she says no. Now, she has a husband who is on uh, ship the Bowman, um, and uh, they both survived a falling attack. Um, and in his explanation, the Bowman was um, sent out a um, uh, emergency, you know, um, alert because um, it was in trouble. And there was a, an admiral on the ship who basically um, told them not to rescue them because the Folians were um, using them as a um, lure just to get to the Enterprise. But he went in anyway because he wasn't going to abandon the crew, so then uh, he was considered a mutine mutineer because he ignored the Admiral's orders. So as soon as the Admiral was rescued, he basically put him into um, um, custody and the Folians followed um, I guess the Folians chased the Enterprise to the space station or something. So I don't know why that, why, but um, basically the Folians were attacking the space station and the Enterprise, and there was a battle. And he wanted her to help him, um, and he basically had a way to um, take on the Folians and uh, make sure that her husband, who was on the Bowman, survived. And um, she said no. She she basically stuck to regulations, stuck to her orders, stuck to her morals, stuck to her guns, and basically was like, I don't care about um, uh, my own personal situation. I, I'm not. I don't care about vengeance. I don't care about um, you know. My my husband knew what he was asking for when he signed up. So did I. And we're gonna stick by the regulations. And she and she has integrity. And it's quite moving. I mean, it's like this This cadet could easily, many people could easily be swayed, but um, she, she stands and eventually pulls a phaser on him. I mean, he threatens her and says, basically, when I get out of this, you know, you're never going to see the inside of a starship or a starbase again. Um, so that still doesn't work. Um, she pulls a phaser on him and, and then eventually he says, okay, end the simulation. You know, she, she's, she's, um, she's, <laughs> She's standing by her um, her convictions, you know, she, she's quality, she's good, you know, she, she's passed the test. Um, and um, she, see, I thought this was like a lame, um, like, cadet thing where they know it's a test. So that's why I thought, this is just bullshit. And then I realised, oh, she didn't know, they really, and um, then it really does appear really brutal. They blew her off her feet. They simulated the, the attack to the point where she was <laughs> knocked off her feet by the explosion and um, really thought it was real and he had to tell her it's your husband's fine he's on leave now um this is all simulation it's not real we're testing you you've passed and she's like what 
Um, and then and he says, clean yourself up and meet me at the transporter room. She goes to the transporter room, she beams to the Enterprise, and she's basically been transferred to the engineering section, which she'd applied for and been knocked back. Um, I guess she had to pass this last um, test, um, and she now is signed aboard the Enterprise, and she's greeted by um, the Spock and Number One, who seem to be like the greeters for anyone who comes on the ship. Um, and it was number one's idea to do to, to do the test and the simulation and Spock uh, implies that she's quite brutal and um, there's a wind and a wink and a nod there and um, she is taken to engineering where she's now um, posted and basically he says to her look you we're all tested in war and in this sort of situations and you just need to hold on to yourself and you'll be okay. And she says, basically, thanks for the kind words. Um, and asks if the phaser was on, or if it was really, if it was really um, set, and if she could have really heard him. He just says, see you around the ship. Wink and a nod, off he goes. Um, the acting is good, the writing is good. It's incredibly short, it's probably about nine minutes. Um, I think they probably could have had a little bit more talk, a little bit more, exp a little bit more um, explaining the situation and the testing and, and the reality of her being transferred. It's all very quick. One minute she's being tested, the next minute she's being transferred, the next minute she's on the ship. It's very, very fast. Um, they easily could have stretched it out to 13, 14 minutes. That's the only problem with this short trek. It's too short. But everything else is good. It felt like Star Trek. It felt good. It felt well done, intelligent. Despite how short it was, it seemed to explore all, all, all the elements of that um, situation. And I enjoyed it, and I have nothing to say bad about it except it was too short. Um, so I'm really happy to finally do a good review of something Star Trek Discovery related. Um, so I'm just going to leave it there before I think of anything bad. Um, and I look forward to having it as an actual short trek, like on DVD or Blu-ray one day. So feel free to like, subscribe, and um, let me know what you think. Comments are good. Thanks. Bye.